I'm here doing another salt problem with Dr. Romano. Come on in, let me show you a nice challenge question that I think you'll enjoy. What we have here is sodium bicarbonate. Now I'm gonna do this problem two ways. I'm gonna show you the real way to do it, and then I'm gonna show you the trick that you'll most likely see for the data exam. What I do is I'm gonna give you K values for the acid that this salt was made from. And I gave you Ka1, a 4.2 to the minus seven, and Ka2, a 4.8 to the minus 11. There's two Ka's because this is diprotic acid, carbonic acid. Now the trick is, if I wanna know, is this salt acidic, basic, or neutral, we're gonna remove the spectator first. Now when we remove the spectator, from sodium bicarbonate, we get the bicarbonate anion, HCO3 minus. Now the trick is, we want to see, does HCO3 minus want to react as an acid, or does it want to react as a base? Because it's amphiprotic, meaning it can go either way. It can act as an acid or a base. Let's first see what happens if it's acting as an acid. If it's acting as an acid, you put it in water, it transfers an H, and that will give H3O plus, plus CO3 minus. Now, I hope you realize that that step is simply the Ka2, meaning that was the second ionization step of this acid. Now, let's check to see what would happen if it acted as a base. Instead of giving an H, it'll receive an H. So, if it takes off an H from water, you get OH minus and H2CO3. Now, what was, would that step be? Well, as you can see, this would represent the KB2, meaning the second basic step. So you have two bases. If, if you have HCl3 minus and it takes off this final H, this represents KB2. Now, what we need to do is we need to compare how does Ka2 Compare to KB2. Well, the reverse of this reaction, I hope you can see, would represent the loss of the first proton. So that would represent Ka1. All right. That's a little tricky. So that means that Ka1 times the KB2 equals the KW. Plugging in for Ka1 of 4.2 to the minus 7 times the KB2 is one to the minus 14, that gives me my KB2. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare that KB2 with the Ka2 from this step. And since the KB exceeds the Ka, that means the salt would be basic. That's the way you would do it mathematically. I can show you a little trick that will most likely work in all cases, or 99% of the time. All you would do is to take this and put it in water and crisscross and meet the two parents. You would get NaOH and here you would get H2CO3. This represents a strong base. This represents a weak acid. The stronger component dictates the pH, so therefore it would be basic. So you can get the answer really fast, but if you really want some good insight on how to do this problem with involving the KAs, this is how you would go. All right, I hope this helps on a hard problem. I have one like this in the Death Destroyer that I want you to look at. Okay, good day to you. Bye-bye.